my dear Pastor Suleiman, you bought first jet, bought second jet, and the, you bought another third jet during coronavirus. And where people are dying. Pastor Suleiman, I want you to look around here. This is Japan. I want you to look around. The people you said that they don't know God. Look at the environment. Just take a look. You have three private jets. Why Awuchi is one of the dirtiest places in the world. Why Nigeria is one of the poorest places in the world. And you bought, you have mind to buy the first jet, second jet, and the third jet during Corona when people are dying. Eh? What is wrong with Nigerians? When will our mumu do? I'm asking this question. Eh? These men are these men are just deceiving people. I am sorry to say that, but it's the truth. Pastor Suleiman, I just want you to look around. Look around people you say that they don't know God. Look around people that you call infidels that they don't understand. If you call it, if you call Jesus to a Japanese man, he will ask you, Nami, what is it? Eh? Yes, or someone, I need a scar. He say, you talk to him about the heaven. He said, Nani heaven. What is that? What is heaven? Because these people understood the truth. Why we are brainwashing our people that they are going to heaven to enjoy what they can enjoy here. That is the most wicked thing I've ever seen. The black people are asking, why, 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 why are our people very wicked? We can't even help ourselves. We go to China to borrow money. And during coronavirus, when people are dying, no food. I and my family had to spend money, send the money that the government of this country gave us to send to Nigeria, to my town and my village, to buy palliative for them and to buy medicine. And you bought your, you used your own money to buy private jet. Pastor Suleiman, shame unto you. Sometimes when you people are talking, you think that you people are talking to idiots. My name is Barista Maker Akonis. I'm speaking from Japan. I just want you to look around to the to look around you this country. Each and everybody you see, everyone you see here is five times richer than you. But nobody, nobody has a private jet. Even Toyota is richer than Nigeria. Mrs. Bucci is richer than Nigeria. Sumitomo Bank is richer than Nigeria. And you people are there deceiving yourselves in the name of God. Deceiving people in the name of God. What is happening to my people? It's time for us Africans to wake up from this, from this mental slavery of wrapping our brain with something that is not real. We, we, are, we, start, we, we, we live in, at least in one land. Look at the country that they don't have they don't have oil, they don't have gas, they don't have anything. All you will tell me is our leaders. Who elected those leaders if it's not you people? I think it is time for us to understand the truth. Pastor Suleiman, you have got to come out to the social media to tell people that coronavirus, you are praying that it will not end because of your selfish and stupid interest. Do you think you talk to fools? You think that everybody is brainwashed? You think that this mental slavery affects everybody? You are nobody but a, a, a motivational speak, a motivational speaker. Most of you, most of the people that are doing your job in America, in Canada, they are there. And you use your own against to the detriment of your people. Look at your congregation. Look at the people coming there. Look at them. Where are they from? Look around. See there where they are living. And you have got to buy the first jet, the second jet, and the third jet. And, and, and you, you have the, the audacity to come to the social media to talk rubbish and trash. I don't blame you. Is it where you are dressing like a, the Joker? You wear, you wear multicolors like a, like a fool. Your right, your right, your, your, the color of your right suit is different from the color of your right left suit. The Joker, you're just a Joker. I am surprised I'm totally disappointed and it's time to face the fact and talk sense into you, 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 you this empty heads which you are using to, to brainwash African people. Is it not a shame that you are driving pretty private jets when people are dying of hunger in Nigeria when there's no single road? Look at how see how it is. This place is a village. 
I am telling you, this road you see now is village. Because if I take you to Tokyo or Nagoya or Osaka to see what's happening there, you will faint. I think it's time for us to begin to speak out. Because when you speak, they say, who are you to talk against the man of God? Stop that rubbish of man of God. Man of nonsense. Stop that rubbish. It's time for us to face the truth. There's no man of God here in Japan. Look at their country. Everybody respects the law. Everybody knows, knows what to do at, at, at every given time. It's a disciplined country. A country that has the fear of God. Not the type of God you people are talking in Nigeria. I am fed up with all this nonsense. And it's time to speak sense into your brain. My name is Emeka Kolisa. I'm a Lego practitioner. And a PhD in theology. And that is why I have the right and to speak to these people who so call themselves men of God. I study theology more than most of them. And look at them. One year, two years, they, they read the Bible and now they, took my, they take microphone and come out to the public to deceive the public and the crowd. I blame Nigerians for not using their brain. How many churches? You can't even see a church in Japan here. But look at their country. God's own country. Look at it. Everything is, is, is fine-tuned like, like it's from heaven. Everything is fine-tuned. And everybody obeys the law. What is happening to us? I'm asking. Can't we use our brain and our senses? You bought, you bought, you bought, you bought private jet during coronavirus. You pray coronavirus, you know. Look at your mouth. Nara. I think it's time for us to speak out. When we continue to speak out, this man will go and do their homework very well. Because I think that anybody who comes on the, on the, on the, on the podium with microphone can speak to, 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 to stupid fools that have brainwashed. Nigerians are raising wise men and intelligent men. And it's time for us to stand against this rubbish. Do you hear anybody blowing horn here? Poor, poor move. No, because everybody is disciplined. Everybody is disciplined. They know what to do at the right time. You, you bought Fed reject during coronavirus. When I saved money here to send to my the town for them to buy palliative. Shame. Nonsense.